It is so important that we go over some classroom painting etiquette, procedures, and cleanup to make this class enjoyable for you and your classmates. So first we're gonna set up an easel. I have these tabletop easels that are perfect for the tables in our classroom. First, you're going to take a box from the side cabinet. There are more if the cabinet runs out. I've stored them elsewhere. You're gonna take your three pieces out of your box and put the box to the side. First, you are going to loosen the screws on the sides to position the vertical posts. Make sure you loosen them or else you will not be able to move it. Then you are going to press the bottom wooden slats into the openings. You might need to use a little bit of elbow grease, but you got this. If you need some assistance, let me know. After that, you're gonna tighten the screws on the vertical posts once you have adjusted it to the desired angle. There's no right or wrong angle, it's whatever you would like. You're gonna take the cross piece and put it onto the frame using the cutouts as your guide. We're gonna look at this at another angle, but then you're gonna screw the top part of the cross piece to the frame. Again, we're gonna look at this from a different angle. So here's where you're gonna screw it, but I am looking at the, um, slat, the cutout pieces and how they slide down. That's what I wanted to show you. And then this part, you're going to place that opening onto the screw and then slide it up. When you're putting away an easel at the end of class, you're going to loosen that top cross piece. Do not remove the screw completely. You then loosen the side legs screws and then push it down flat. You're gonna store it all back in the box. I know it's not gonna fit perfectly, but please just do your best. And place it back in the cabinet once you are done. This will happen at the end of class. First thing you do before getting any paint is finding an apron. You'll find them in the side cabinet by the wall of windows. Take any one that you like and tie it around. Putting paint on a palette may seem super easy, but this is how we're gonna do it in this classroom. So obviously you don't have palettes just yet, so you're gonna get a new one. And we're going to use paint that is acrylic. You will be able to find acrylic paint in the top shelf um, of the lower cabinet as well as the top cabinet. Make sure it's acrylic and not tempera. If it's a new tub, then make sure you open up and take off the aluminum covering and throw that trash away. I'm actually gonna take my palette knife and scrape off that cover, but you can only use a palette knife to get paint from a tub. Please do not use a paintbrush and destroy my paintbrushes. Huge no-no to avoid right here. If you have another color on your palette knife that does not belong in that tub, you clean that knife off before you go back into that tub. We are not mixing paints and ruining all of our tubs of paints. You're gonna put the lids back on the paint when you are done with it. Then put the paint back in the cabinet. I know this seems very uh, simple to follow, but make sure you do it. Prepping your space to paint. There's a few things you need. You're gonna get a water container from underneath the left sink and fill it about a third of the way with water. You really don't need a lot of water. You can always clean out your water throughout painting. Things to remember while you're painting, we want to keep our brushes in tip top condition. So you're only using a palette knife to mix paint on your palette, not a brush. Secondly, when you are painting, you wanna keep the paint on the bristles or hairs of the brush. Do not let it get on the ferrule, which is that metal part, or the handle. That is really difficult to clean and the hairs really don't get fully cleaned if paint goes past them. Where to store your painting at the end of class? So you're finished painting for the day, it's time to clean up. You're gonna take your painting 
over to the drawing racks at the back of the classroom. Find your name on the chart and place your piece in the corresponding slot number. I will make sure there are numbers with tags on each slot so you know where yours goes. Cleaning your brushes and palettes, so important, and this is where we need to spend lots of time. If you have paint that is extra on your palette, you can put it back in the tub. My paint is mixed on my palette, so I cannot actually put that back in the tub. I'm gonna wipe off some excess paint from the palette. I'd rather not send it down the sink. That will cause problems in our sinks. So make sure you wipe off any excess. Then I'm just going to rinse it under water. Hot water works best, but what any type of water. Then place it in the drying rack. Brush cleaning is really important. You're going to swirl them in the palm of your hand until the water runs clear. Then you're going to reshape the hair so they're facing the correct direction and place it hairs up in the drying rack cups. Clean off your palette knife and rinse out your water bucket. You're gonna put the water bucket back underneath the left sink and the knife goes into the drying rack. Say you wanna save some paint on your palette. You don't wanna to toss it just yet and it can't go back in its cup. You're just going to put plastic wrap over any paint that you would like to keep. I cannot guarantee that it will stay for the weekend, but it should be usable within two days. You're gonna place your palette in the painting drawer by the cutting board. We will have tape and name tags on your palette so you know whose is whose. Final cleanup, just make sure your apron goes back into the cabinet where you got it from and make sure your space is clear. Happy painting!